Ben Jacobson with Ben Jacobson Photo here. I just wanted to review uh, my two favorite ball heads really quick. Uh, the I'm going to pronounce them very slowly here at first because the names do get flip-flop, uh, especially with me, a bit. This is an Acra Tech, A-C-R-A-T-E-C-H. Uh, this is the GV2. This is an Arca Swiss, A-R-C-A, uh, P0. Um, so just to get that out of the way, I'll try to refer to this as the P0 for the rest of the review, and this is the GV2, just to alleviate the mispronunciations. Uh, but just to go over this really quick, the reason I like the GV2 initially, this was my uh, first upgraded ball head uh, after a really right stuff uh, ball head 40. Um, the reason I upgraded just to get this out of the way is the ball heads, most ball heads have an encapsulated and enclosed ball at the base. Uh, and I shoot around salt water and sand a lot. Any of that gets in there, it, gravity pulls it in instead of letting it out, and it's harder to rinse out. Uh, so I wanted something a little easier to clean, maybe a little more lightweight uh, would be nice. Uh, and I saw the, the GV2 was being advertised, and I saw the open ball design and just loved it. Uh, I actually had the Ultimate before this, which has a diagonal clamp. It's a pain in the butt to use. Uh, but then I, I quickly switched to this, which has a, like the ball, it's a more traditional design, it's just open. Uh, so I used this for uh, two years, really liked it. My biggest complaint, and this is for all traditional style ball heads in general, is with the knobs all on one side and your tripod has basically three sides to the triangle that it builds, you set your legs up early in the morning and you might not realize which way your knobs are pointed. So all of a sudden you'll need to loosen the panning clamp, pan it around to where it's pointed at you and tighten it back up. Not the end of the world, not a huge deal, but it was just frustrating for me. Um, I really hadn't even thought of it that much. It was frustrating, but I hadn't thought there was a solution for it until I went to Photo Expo last year and saw the P0. And you'll notice the only locking ring for both drag and the lock is circular. It goes all the way around the whole head. So no matter which way you set it up, even if you're backwards with your clamp, you set it up, your legs are level, you realize that, you loosen the lock, which you have to do to compose anyway, you spin the whole thing around, tighten it up, boom, set up. It's always pointed at you because it's a ring. Um, so I've since switched to that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the, the GB2 has a couple nice features. One is that you can actually take the threaded stud for the clamp out, screw it in the bottom, and then put it on the head upside, or the legs upside down. Um, and what that gets you, the same as the P0 gets you, is with your panning option up, once you level it, say your legs are way on a funny angle, once you level your head out, if you loosen your panning clamp, you can then pan just the clamp and do panoramas. Um, so that's great for anyone who wants to do a panorama. It, it's much less parts to go on your camera because your clamp, which is level, is doing the panning. You can then use a, a rail if you want to get over the nodal point, but you're, you're just, you only need that rail and that's even questionable. Um, so that and the fact this is open and allows you to just get any sand or grit out of here very easily, and it's lightweight as well, but that, that's the real selling points on this. The other thing with the GV2 is they have a 10 year warranty. They haven't even been in business 10 years yet. Uh, so, and that's not a knock on them. That's to say you call them up with any problems, they don't even have to ask any questions. They just say, send it in, they fix it. Um, I actually had one of the rubber pieces get stripped on mine once because it was it was too cold. Um, and I just, I used too much force and the rubber cracked. So I sent it in, I actually had them replace it with a knob without rubber on it. Um, but yeah, they, they stand by their product and it's a well-built product. Uh, so this is, this is the GV2. The new versions are the GP and the GPS. Uh, they are, they advertise the fact you can flip it upside down, but this one does it anyway. Um, I believe the other ones advertise it because they come with their own clamps generally, and with their clamps, the GP versions are the only ones you can take their clamp off and flip it. I bought the version without the clamp so I could use my really right stuff lever clamp, uh, which is why I have that option. Uh, and the S on the GPS means it's a smaller diameter for some of those smaller inverting leg tripods. The uh, non-S has a slightly larger base. Everything else is the same. The capacity is in the ball size. Uh, so that's the GB2. Here's the P P0. Like I said, one ring that does all the work makes it very easy to get to the parts you need. Um, you, you grab it, you set it up. It has one notch to do super low angle, like pointed down work. Uh, if you want to do pointed up like at the moon or whatever, you just spin it backwards, drop your camera in the clamp backwards, go up. 
If you're not using an L bracket, you'll have to use that for all your vertical shots. Um, and at that point, you loosen your pan lock right here and you'd have to get that perpendicular. Um, but this, it's, it's about eliminating controls for me. So I've really enjoyed this head since I've got it. Uh, the ball for this head is enclosed on this design, um, but because it's upside down, I've had no issues with it in the, the time I've had it, which has been, uh, I think, almost a year now. Um, so gravity is basically doing all the work for me. I do rinse it once a month maybe um, to make sure it stays clean, but it's just, it's super easy to use no matter which way you set it up. So I've really, it's, it's a key selling point for me that no matter how I set it up, you grab it and use it and you don't have to think about it. Less frustrations. Um, it does have the smaller threaded stud on this when you buy it without a clamp, so you have to have the bushing in there. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I'll try to get some pictures too, but there's a bushing in here to use my really right stuff clamp. Um, you just make sure you lock tight all that when you put it together and it's been absolutely fine. Um, and the reason, some of you might be wondering why I'm so insistent on a, a lever bracket, but I had a screw type clamp on one uh, I had at one point, I think it was my uh, Ultimate from Arca Acrotech. See, I always screw that up. But my Ultimate from Acrotech uh, had a screw type clamp on it from the factory. And I thought I had it done, completely user error, wasn't quite tight enough, picked my tripod up, went to walk someplace and the camera slid right out. Granted, I caught it mid-flight, so I was very fortunate, but it just was eye-opening to me in the fact that it could happen. Uh, so since then, I just I don't mess with screw-type clamps anymore. It's lever for me only. It's either closed or open, there's no question. Um, so this clamp has been with me for three years now uh, on four different heads, I think. Um, so I really am a big fan of that clamp. Uh, but yeah, hopefully if you're looking at either one of these, this has helped. Um, that's the Arca Swiss P0. This is the Acra Tech GV2. Um, both with a really right stuff clamp, and this is my Enduro CT313 leg set. Uh, so hopefully this helps you make a decision between either one, or maybe you go with a Kirk or a really right stuff. Completely up to you. Uh, but hopefully you get something that works for you, and, and it alleviates all the little issues and the fiddliness I've had with some of mine. Um, so yeah, Ben Jacobson with Ben Jacobson Photo. Thank you.